gonna put a couple more cards together, huh? Start exercising my motherfucking switch hand again. Big hum. That's what I do, my nigga. I'm back up in this bitch, it's the return of the chicken hawk. 1 0, still rep the hood, nigga, what you thought? In a classic worth more than a hundred racks. 520s on this motherfucker in this front and back. Off that red gas, high as an elevator. Couple homies with me that got guns like the Terminator. I'm at the stoplight, I'm recognized, so they tripping. So I threw the dub up, hit the switch, kept on tipping. California dreaming on them Zenas, fuck the law. Bust a left off of Manchester on the show. People everywhere and riders take a look around and now. Was Broadway with Chevys on the ground and they talking that shit. I'm laughing. How funny is it? What? I got a cat like nigga with Porsche money in it. And all I do is win when it's time to compete. Professionals when I ride, nigga ass tweet. On top of the world, sitting on the throne. King of Chevys in my lack is a two door brome. Hey. School bitch in this old school rider. This a first time dipping with a G beside her. And now we in Malibu. View ain't nothing but the ocean. Blew the bitch mind with this three wheel motion. And now it's feeling like we ice skating in the sleigh today. Cause if I ain't bumper checking, all I do is lay and play. Moved all the real riders, twisting on them Dana Dane. Swing them bitches, drag bumpers, swerve them hoes, lane to lane. Told you gangsters make the world go round. It's Mr. Inglewood back to defend my crown. I've been a made man, worth millions, and I'm risking this. But I had to come back. The West Coast was missing this And all I talked about was money and crack Yep, gangster shit, blood, political shit, whack I told Fuzzy make my seven compete Welcome King to the Shettles. King of Shibby presents the uh, of the I'm Young Tweet We sitting down here with Fuzz And uh, my main man Fuzz join us today What's happening? Fuzz, uh, do, do I announce you as being Fuzz? Young That's Fuzz right. uh, 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 Used yeah. to run Crenshaw what do, uh, Let me know <laughs> Pretty much. You Pretty know much. that? Yeah. No, I don't know that. I don't know that. You guys know that. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Uh, there's a lot of history, man, they, that I've missed out on. It. Your name came up a lot, you know. Right. Tell me, tell me what you were doing back in the days when, you know, you. first of all, how long have you been into this car, sir? I've been low riding since 91. I bought my first tray in 1991. So, yeah, I've been was riding. Was it stopped? No. I'm jugging the day. Was it stopped? No, it was cut. Cut like what? Cut like front and back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And what was you doing with it? Hopping. Oh, hopping. Yeah. He you looking at me up. fuzzy like, <laughs> real aggressive, like, that's for me or something. Because, you know hey, saying? we getting ready to get it started. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> what color was it? It was desert, desert, uh, what is that? Desert sand, desert tan. Oh, it's coming out of the goddamn technical colors. shit. Yeah. The code number is this and that. Yeah. Okay, what the blue, red, yellow? What it color was, was it? No, it right? was like a fawn, like okay, a desert so sand. Okay, desert sand. Desert sand. Is that right? I got my first tray painted on Hearthstone Boulevard. It was 800 bucks. 800 bucks. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Who painted it? This dude is named he still Tony. Around? I don't know. His brother might be dead <laughs> now. Shit, I don't know. That was that was ninety one. There too many motherfuckers made it from then. You know. So back then, what year was that? Ninety one. You that said that was ninety one. Back then, who can you recall that was active Sunday in, Sunday out on the boulevard in the parks and all that? Uh, back then, Charles Clayton, uh, a lot of the individuals, right? Gary May, Zeus. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, rest Both in peace. Them. Yes, yeah. definitely, definitely. Uh, and then they had the new cats like us, right? Uh, a couple of us, Richie, my boy Richie, right? Uh, Punchy. Uh, oh, Punchy was a new cat too then. Yeah, he was a new cat oh, yeah, back okay. then too. Yeah, y'all don't want to see me. <laughs> <Yeah>. Go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, you had a lot of old school cats. Uh, you had Jesse, right? Uh, Droopy, mm. well, he came around, you know. Yeah, doing his thing. Yeah, doing his thing. Yeah, you had a couple cats back then. And how old were you at that time? Uh, let me see. Shit, that was 1991. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was like 22, something like that. Yeah, 22. Yeah. So what was it like low riding at a young age in the 90s like that? Oh, it was cool. You know, it was a lot more intense back then. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The competition was a lot harder. Uh, you know, 
it wasn't a lot of talking back then. You know, it was more or less pull up, handle your shit, or step back. You know what I'm saying? So I remember I was riding with Vic once, right? And uh, I saw Zeus, right? And this is when I first started low riding. Vic had kind of helped me out or whatnot. And I remember I told Vic, he was tell Vic was telling me like, he's one of the heavy hitters, right? So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't try him that weekend, right? I had to get a little more practice in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I ended up trying him and I ended up beating him on Adams and Crenshaw right there at the Chevron gas station. That was probably like, uh, maybe like 92, 93, right? And from there on, that was it, man. That opened the door, you know what I'm saying? It was like every Sunday, that's what I was all about, going out there wanting to hop against the brothers. You know what I'm saying? I didn't care who it was. I didn't give a shit what your reputation was. It was like, I'm going after it. You know what I'm saying? Because I like the competition. You know what I'm saying? So it was fierce competition back then? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You had cats like, uh, well, you had different car clubs, right? Uh, the Damus, right? They had a brother named Tone, Fibs, uh, you know. Then they had Public Enemy, right? They had a couple cats. Punchy was one of them, right? Shout out yeah. to that bum. Yeah, Go you ahead. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had to put it on him, but he 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 won a couple times. We both had our matches, you know. I give it to him. I think uh, he, he said was saying, something about you, yeah, Frank Desire. Yeah, he, he said did. something about, but he mentioned something about that you weren't from the professional then. Yeah, he something was about talking club, that shit, soul talking soul. about soul to soul. Club, soul to soul. I don't know what that shit that, was that about. Like a, a, you know, a, goddamn well it wasn't no soul to soul. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he remember I rode with South Central at one time, right? But uh, it was a lot of heavy hitters back then. It was, uh, you know, you had uh, Hunt Down, right? Uh, BK, you had, like I said, Zeus, you know, uh, Dale Dog, you know. So who did you look forward to hopping? When you seen uh, on Sunday, man, I gotta hop Zeus, or I gotta hop uh, Punchy, or Gangster, right. or whoever. Right, you know, the one person I used to love to hop against, me and him used to go at it time and time again was Mayman, right? Old school Mayman, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Me and that cat used to battle, man, every weekend, right? I even battled with Rat, right? Broke Rat off a couple times, but he broke me off a few <laughs> times, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, cause I, I, my thing was, man, you got to go after the heavy hitters, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was about, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, and see, with me, I was the type, I never hopped the car outside. I always sat in the car and hopped it. You know what I'm saying? I could never get it hopping outside the car, right? Oh, so you so, probably really would, not to cut you off, you probably would have got about five more extra inches. Heavy as that motherfucking head is. Well, I don't know about five, <laughs> maybe three and a half, you know what I'm saying? But if you would have been there, you would have found out, you know what I'm saying? Because you would have seen it would have been five inches over your front bumper, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, go on and drink that, you know what I'm saying? Help yourself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> saying? So yeah, you know, it's all good though. But they had some, they had a lot of competition back then. You know, it was fun, man. We had a blast, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's take it back all the way to the beginning. How So how did it start for your love of cars? Um, Let me see, I was probably like, I don't know, 14. Right, 13, I used to see brothers in the neighborhood, you know? So <clears> the <throat> crazy thing is, right, I would ask them like, hey man, let me ride with y'all down Crenshaw, right? So I'd go cut some grass or some shit like that, right, give them a couple dollars, right? And I'd be jumping the front seat, they like, nah, get your ass in the back seat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I get in the back seat, right, we'd be going down Crenshaw, right? And I'd be like, man, look at that car, look at that car, right? So for me, right, it was like back then, I already saw what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I knew what my passion was, right? So I started off street racing, Mazdas, RX2s back in the day, right? I raced the rotaries, right? And this was back in 85. Me and my boy Richie, right? Me and my boy Richie, right? Both of us, right? We, we did the Mazdas, we did the low riders, et cetera, right? But, uh, and I did the Mazdas for a long time. Big man, right? Another one, right? We all used to race together back in the day. Another piece of shit, but we love him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, don't be talking about my big okay, brother, okay. Man, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Leave big man alone. You well, know what I'm saying? Talk to you Leave all big time. man out of this. Well, you know what I'm saying? I don't give face. a shit. You leave him out of it, man. Don't talk face. shit about big man. You know I what I'm saying? Face, I got his back. You know what I'm saying? Wow, so he's scared of that. Go ahead. But, uh, 
So yeah, we street raced, right? So I never forget, right? I went to a Richie was like, let's foot, let's go to a low rider picnic. So I was like, all right, let's go, right? And when I went to the low rider picnic, right, I saw all the low riders, this and that, right? And I was like, fuck that. I'm like, that's what I need to be doing. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? That's the shit right there. So I bought my first tray, Richie bought his first deuce, right? And we came up together, you know what I'm saying? And as time went on, I met Vic, right? And Vic, from the professionals, was the one. I think who, I know that guy. Yeah, I know you know that guy. <laughs> I, think, I think I know him. Vic was my teacher, you know what I'm saying? Vic taught me a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? I give all my credit to him, you know, because, you know, I remember when I first started coming around his house, right? <laughs> I'd come over there at lunchtime, and I'd be watching him, right? And he, you know, do his little secret shit, you know what I mean, to make the molding straight, this and that. So check this out. I put my tray together the first time and I bring it over his house and he looks at it and he's like, that shit ain't right. You know what I mean? And I'm like, what you talking about? You know, this is crooked, that's crooked, this ain't straight, right? So what I do, took the whole car apart, right? He put it together, right? But I watched him, you know what I'm saying? And from there on, right? As time went on, you know, you start putting more and more cars together, right? And the love for building cars got stronger for me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you could see something that's raggedy, piece of shit, and then turn around. And when you see it when it's finished, that's your creation. Because this is an art. You know, it's just like drawing a picture. You know what I'm saying? And anything you do, if you put passion into it and put love into it, you're gonna make it happen. So you you went from racing to low riding, and then I know you went back to racing. What yeah. made you go back to, to racing? Uh, I went back to racing because I kind of just, you know, backed off low riding a little bit, you know what I'm what saying? What happened? Because low riding was kind of dead at the time? Yeah, it was, was kind of dead a little bit, right? And I like high adrenaline, you know? Getting out there, hopping against everybody was high adrenaline, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up drag racing. I did that for about 14 years, you know? And what was that like? Was it a different uh, type of rush? Oh yeah. From from hopping and. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, man. It was it was uh, it was a little more intense, you know. Uh, the fastest I went right was a uh, 801, 180, right in a quarter mile. So it was pretty ten intense, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then two, but the, still the same thing, right? Wrenching on the cars, right? fixing the motors, fixing the rear ends, right? In between passes, same thing like before you hit Crenshaw or whatever, right? You go through your car, check everything out, make sure everything is cool. You know what I'm saying? So I loved racing, man. But uh, I backed out of that too. You know what I'm saying? Because it got to be a little too expensive and it's very time consuming. You know what I'm saying? Because racing is something that you know, you got to put in a lot of time on the car because basically your ass is on the line. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, and then you were trying to be, were you racing against other people or just going down? The oh, no, road? no. I was racing against so other people. So then you had to be. Yeah. It was very competitive. Yeah. Very competitive. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I loved it. Did you guys race for, for money? Uh, we raced for money, but at that time, right, you had uh, different sponsors, right? that would put up money. So say the pot was like 3,000, 4,000, right? So every sticker that you put on the window, right? That sponsor paid like 200 or $300. That's why you see a lot of race cars, right? With, with all the money. stickers on the windows because for each sticker- for each, And that's for each race? That's for each race. Well, the final race, right? The champ, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? But for every race, right? That's how it worked, you know? Plus you'd get the pot from actually doing it right and then you'd have side bets too you know what i'm saying so i enjoyed it i mean i crashed three times right i took the wall head on in uh tucson arizona i took the wall head on at 153 miles that was hour, the first right? time that was the first time i crashed right and i'll never forget that shit, right because i got out the car i was pissed off right <laughs> and uh so the little rescue unit right was coming down the track and uh I was sitting there, right, and I took my helmet off, and I threw my helmet against the car, and I threw my hat against the car, right, I took my jacket off, I just threw all this shit off, right, and they were like, 
damn that, we ain't getting ready to check his blood pressure because they thought I was getting ready to whoop their ass, you know? <laughs> they were like, this dude is losing it, you know what I'm saying? And so they approached me like, hey, bro, hey, hey, just let us check your blood pressure, right? But I wasn't tripping with them. I was just hurt, That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the cool thing is, once I crashed the car, everybody offered me parts, right? Dudes gave me fenders, hood, grill, all that. One dude offered to paint it. And I was back racing the next month. You know what I'm saying? So I loved racing, but, uh, you know, low riding is, you so, know. So you came back. What made you come back? I just uh, missed it, man. Yeah. You know? You know what made him come back. Yeah. I just Heard missed it. Gonna come you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. The boulevard. You know Go ahead. Let tell us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let tell us. You know, the thing is, I heard he was coming back, right? So I had to make something to whoop his ass. You know what I mean? To let him know. You know what I'm saying? Who was still running the show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But no, nah, I, I miss low riding, you know what I'm saying? Because racing is one thing, right? You get on the track, right? You go down the track, do this. Low riding, you get up Sunday morning, you enjoy washing the car. You know, it's therapy. It's therapy, you know what I'm saying? It's therapy. It's like you wash your car, you fill it up with gas or whatever it is, and you take a ride, right? And you just listen to them songs. And all it does is take you back to back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And you can't beat that. That shit is priceless. So what made you, when when you when you th thought of coming back, what car did you have in mind that you wanted to come back with? Oh, I, let me see. When I came Cause back. Because you're known for 61s, right? Yeah, I had a 61, yeah. Because you know that 61 was everybody's worst nightmare <laughs> out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Or Too bad. No, hold on, hold on. Because I know, no, hold on. No, no, hold on. Because I know where this shit is getting ready. What? A 61 is. No, my 61. Listen, let me tell you something. For everybody out there, right? Look at the videos, pumps and dumps, volume one through whatever. So I ain't just whatever. shit talking, you know what I'm saying? It's proof. And if he would have been out, I would have whooped his up. ass like it was no tomorrow. You got some grainy because, ass footage, but go yeah, ahead. Yeah, it's grainy, but it's I ass seen whooping. Some of shit. It don't matter how the ass whooping go. I seen you know what I'm saying? Shit. And if he would have pulled that green foe up, he'd have had problems. I would have many other you know what I'm saying? Up here so, you know. I, you know, it's it's all good. You know what I'm saying? But that 61, you know. What color I love, was the 61? Blue one? Blue with silver top. I've seen footage of that one. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Say no, something. Go ahead. I'm not seeing footage of that. So he, he did have a 61 that was swinging. Yeah. It was, I was hot. A couple, it was pretty hot. Yeah. Because you had a 61 that I knew you were building. <clears throat> what made you not cut that 61? And, and Oh, the stock 61? Yeah. You know, I just I just wanted one stock car. You know what I'm saying? And it was cool for a minute, you know, but that's like for some parade shit. You know, I, I just, you know, I mean, I can't really get the the uh, full feeling of an old school car just driving around in a stock car. Bottom line, I'm just used to low riders. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and being around the stuff so long. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, having so many influences back in the day, right? Your dad was one of my influences, you know what I'm saying? Rest so, in peace, yeah, you? rest in peace, right? He was, you know what I mean? I used to see him out there hopping and shit, you know, at the sports arena, right? Come in right after him, you know? No, I couldn't mess with him, but, you know, I try him anyways, you know? <laughs> you know, so the thing is, right, low riding is just, uh, it's to me, it's better than, just riding around in the stock shit. So that's why, you know, I just decided to just, you know, build another just, car just cut. The Ford came across? Yeah, like 64 came across. And uh, I was kind of going back and forth because actually I was going to do the 64 stock, right? Mm -hmm. I was thinking about doing the stock. I was like, I ain't going to cut it, you know what I mean? But then, you know, a lot of people that I knew was like, you going to do that shit again? Like the 61, right? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just come out one more time. You know, so I came out, you know what I'm saying? And, and you thought you was in a race car, from my understanding. And this is because <laughs> you put a big-ass race motor in yeah, that. Tell yeah. us a story about that. Yep, me and Big Man, right? So that I, man, He's a motherfucker, right? Who? Big Man. Hey, that's my Al, man. boom. God damn it, y'all better than start no, talking about No, not even that, I'm because he, he, he talked me into some shit. He I bad didn't, yeah. he, I didn't well, have a listen, thousand, let me thousand tell you something. Yeah. Car, man. He will talk you into some shit, right? Yeah, like yeah. I didn't need that shit. And then when you get the shit and it's it too much, like, he'll look at you and you know how he get that little laugh, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you wanted it. You asked for it. You know what I'm saying? 
And, and he, so now you stuck with yeah, it, right? Me, oh, well, you're already there. Yeah. Shit. So, yeah, in the fold, right, I put a race motor, right? And I drove that thing for like one week, right? I got on the throttle, right? That shit got all sideways and shit. I said, I'm going to kill myself in two weeks. Because <laughs> you, you can't be doing that shit on the 520s, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and can't. really... That ain't what low riding is about. I mean, I get it. <clears throat> you know, a lot of cats now, right, going with the twin turbos because they trying to up the game. They trying to change the game, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's it's conversation each is his own. Shit. Yeah. All of this conversation shit. But the bottom line is you ain't, gonna, yeah, yeah, you ain't going to get in it hard on them 520s. You'll see. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> he gonna know. You see, you know what I'm saying? You think you're gonna do some shit, he, but he gonna ease in at, at about 50 miles an hour. Yeah, getting it, you know. And even when he eased into it, he's still gonna. Careful. Be, you no, gotta be I careful. just wanted a, a nice motor. That motherfucker. Yeah. Into well, all yeah. He always. I mean, listen, you know I mean? right? Like, I bought his motor out of his old car and put it in my daughter's El Camino. You know what I'm saying, but you know I set the rear end you up. Must not like pain. your daughter. That's a yeah, small motor. Yeah, well, I put I put. <laughs> and, and, and this what that's where I want to go. I'm, we're gonna create and go into the segue about because you have two beautiful daughters, which oh, are my, yeah. my adopted nieces yeah. now that I love. I love my girls, straight man. Straight riders, but to both of my daughters, Aaron and Ariane, I up. love both of you. You For know sure. what I mean? My girls in my heart. You know what I'm saying? And my little grandson. You know, Braylon, man, I love him. That's mm -hmm. why I want to go back throughout the racing, the low riding, the racing, and back to low. When did that time come when you decided, because we'll get to that part about your career, your job career, you decided to have your children. Right, back in the day. And back in the day and be a father to your children during this time that you had stepped away from low riding, right? I was still low riding, but you know, when my girls came around, right, I had kind of backed away a little bit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because the thing is, right, is, you know, when you have the kids, you got to put in the time. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, as a father, right, you know, you do the best you can. You know what I'm saying? Especially with girls, right? Exactly. You know, and uh, my girls, they know. You know, both of my daughters, right, Aaron and Ariane, right, they know. You know, their daddy is about cars. You know what I'm saying? But I always put them first. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And that's, now... That's what made me gravitate and like your bum ass. Because yeah. I realized how right. much of a right. great father you were. Right. Because for real, I didn't give a damn about you. I that know. Father. But then when I, I realized know. that... I, it grew on me, but, but go ahead. once I need, know you needed a homeboy, somebody who might be want to be your friend, you know, I decided <laughs> I'd help you out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, man, my girls, you know. So do man, they like low riding, or do they just like cars? Period. Or? Uh, you know, my youngest one is uh, she's the one that's probably a little more into it, right? Because uh, one time we had, remember. We had that Tweet's car across, the, across street. the street, right? And my daughter, like, Tweet let her hit the switch and all that I told her, stuff. come get in the hot one, sweetheart. <laughs> this one's pretty hot. Your uh, daddy now said, we got to like change the, the goddamn story go ahead, into go some ahead. hot <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my youngest one, right? She jumped in the car and she started hitting the switch and all this stuff, right? And she enjoyed herself, right? Uh, but my oldest one has been around, too, you know? I never forget my oldest one, man. I had bought a Camaro, right? Just got it painted from Craig Parker back in the day. Now I'm taking you back, the paint guys, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm over there putting the door lock in, right? And my oldest daughter's name is Aaron, right? So I put the door lock in, and you know how you take a file and you file out the hole so that the door lock so it could fit. Man, so she went on the other side of the car, right? And so I'm sitting there filing. <laughs> I heard some ding, 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 right? I'm like the hell is that right and i go over there she took the screwdriver she was sticking it sticking it in the paint i'm like aaron no what are you doing you know what i mean she's like daddy oh, like crying and shit right what can you do she was just you know, trying to help out she was just trying to help out you know what i'm saying and now guess what i just bought her a camaro so <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah my girls you know ultimately man that's my heart you know what I'm saying? I love my girls, and I'm building both of my girls a car, right? I'm building my youngest daughter a uh, 64 El Camino, and I'm building my oldest daughter a 67 Camaro because this is my legacy, you know? And I want to be able to pass something down to the girls, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully they keep it and appreciate it. And, uh, 
they're going to be the only ones driving that shit, too. You know what I'm saying? The no Santos. <laughs> no Santos. No Santos. We know we talking about that. Yeah, you already know what's up, Aaron and Ariane. We ain't so. playing that. If you don't catch you, I'm going to catch you. That's right. <laughs> Uncle Tweet will. Or Uncle Fuzzy will, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's definitely that. You know what I'm saying? And so, speaking of all that shit, so... Tell me the time that you met this guy right here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah? yeah tell, me. <laughs> tell, tell us about the time you met All right. So check it out, right? I think, it was it New Year's? New Year's. Okay, it was New, it was New Year's. Year's. I don't even remember what year yeah, it was, it was right? So it's New Year's, right? So me and my boy Dre, right? He's from yeah, Supernatural. 2014 or something. Was it 2014? Yeah, that's yeah. when I first... Uh, ran across you. I heard about you. Okay. Little bit, right? Well, I know I you heard damn, about me, and ahead. I know you was nervous. <laughs> was like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. You was nervous. You know what I'm saying when you came out, but you know. Nobody. So, anyways, right? So, everybody's like, yeah, everybody's meeting up at a tweet shop, right? <laughs> so I was like, all right, fucking, let's go up there. You know. So me and my boy Dre, we go up there, right? And tweet ain't there, right? So I'm kind of standing around. I think you was there, and I don't remember who else was there, right? Y'all was messing around with that uh, 57, that yellow one, that one that ain't that hot. Or whatever, right? the, the, little, bad the raggedy Trans 57, yeah, the yellow the one. one. You know, the raggedy the 57. Yeah. So anyway, that brought uh, everybody back. Yeah. Okay, we'll get back to that later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, <clears throat> so anyways, right? So I pull up, and we sitting there chilling, and here he come in the 58, right? head bobbing and shit, looking around like, what the fuck, you know what I mean? So he gets out like, what the fuck is everybody doing here? Blah, 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 like talking shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, who is this dude? You know what I mean? And he's just like, everybody get out of here right now. Just go, just go, just go. So I was like, told the homie, I said, you know what? Let's get up out of here. I said, this, yeah, fuck yeah, this asshole, fuck this dude. Huh? This dude tripping like a motherfucker, you know? And he ain't even got no hot car. You know what I'm saying? His shit ain't even hot. Oh, you, know you know what I'm saying? thousand y'all there? No, about a thousand man, it was three people there. <laughs> God <laughs> damn, man. It wasn't no, no goddamn thousand people. people there. It wasn't you know what I mean? Three people. So I'm sitting there and I tell the homie, I'm like, pissed off? He was pissed off because that 57 wasn't ready. That's what, and it wasn't hot. You know what I'm saying? That's what he was pissed off about. I'm gonna tell y'all the story. Oh, uh, now wait a minute. Whose interview is this? <laughs> Whose goddamn interview is this? His interview or my interview? He's trying to kick it up. 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 gonna make me drink this beer. He's trying to clean it up. It was about a thousand of y'all there when I came back, right? See, when he said that somebody told him, Everybody meeting over at Tweet Shop or whatever the case may be. False information. Somebody misled you. But anyway, so you end up getting a little <laughs> bit of the heat from this shit. And it wasn't just, uh, I wasn't targeting you. I tell everybody. Because I came back. Well, I was more pissed off because the door was being pulled down. And Fuzzy, Mikey, and everybody was like, we ain't going to make it. Right, right. We, he said, we ain't going to make it. The door down. So when I seen all you knucklehead motherfuckers around there, faces I didn't know who the hell, why the hell you was there. If you ain't part of the solution, you part of the problem. So all oh, y'all get the fuck up out of here. Let me mm -hmm. shut the gate and keep it moving. Shit. I remember that. I said, get that. the hell up out of here. If you ain't part of the solution, you can tell us what you, 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 tell us what you really said. And, and what, what you, you thought. Really you know what I'm saying? And I told the homie, I said, let's get the fuck out of here. This motherfucker's <laughs> tripping. You know what I mean? Like, what, what, who is this cat? You know what I mean? But what happened later on down the line, right? I think, I don't know what, I was coming to ask you to do something for the fall. I don't remember what it was, right? And I pulled up and I had to fall across the street, right? So he get out and he's like, we talking and this and that. And he's like, oh, you, I say, yeah, I'm Foots. Oh, you Foots. Yeah, but I so and I already knew, dude. so I already knew that he knew about me. You know, he was worried because he was like, he oh, like you Foots. Foots. Yes, it's he good. got like a little nervous when he said ah, like, oh, you <laughs> Foots. You know, I'm like, hey, homie, just relax. You know, just take it easy. Take it easy. You know what I'm saying? Don't get all nervous and shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't trip. You know what I mean? So he like ended he up. Says his interview. He Go ended ahead. up. He ended up checking out the fold ride, and he's looking at it. And I'm watching him eyeballing and shit, right? And he's like, yeah, homie, this is a nice fold. You know? And I was like, that's cool. I appreciate it, right? And from there on, we just kind of started. You know what I mean? Talking, hit and miss here, this and that. And here we are today, right? Professionals. But just to think, I didn't even know you was the same dude 
that when I told, because it was a lot of y'all motherfuckers. Dad. No, it was. It when was. I said, man, y'all get the hell up out of here and this and that, I wasn't looking at you trying to study you, study <laughs> no, the next no, motherfucker. No. I like, get the hell up out of here. If you ain't part of the, the, the solution, you part of the problem. And I locked the motherfucking gate. Yeah. And I told Fug them, drop down everything down. The seats, what, what, the, the coil, I get to do it. And that's when they knew this right. motherfucker is trying to ride. Right. He's coming right. out tonight. Yeah. Cause, because we've been working, man, for damn that month. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? You know, because when you push for a date. We don't give up, man. We don't right? give up. Yeah. When you push it for a date, right, and it's something that you really want and you're passionate about, you're going to go for it. You're going to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember them nights, <clears throat> you know, where it was the first and it was the fourth or it was somebody's big picnic, right? And the dry lights is fucked up. The batteries ain't charged, right? I, this is no bullshit. This was before I could afford a multi-charger, Right? So before the picnics, you know, I had two chargers, two individual chargers, right? So I'm like setting the alarm clock because wasn't no cell phone back in the day where you could, you know what I mean? Exactly. Set the alarm clock. I had to set the alarm clock. I would let each battery charge for like two hours, two or three hours, wake up and switch the battery charger. But that's how bad I wanted to hop against somebody. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't going to the picnic slipping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to the picnic. My Maybe. shit's going to be on the back bumper. Bottom line. You know what I'm saying? I am not going to slip. You know what I mean? So you, so at that time, <clears throat> you didn't give a shit if your shit broke or whatever. You were hopping. Like, yeah. you didn't care if you had to pay to care. fix it. I didn't care. That shit didn't matter But to then, you. you know, back then, right, I used to, you know, be able to fix my own stuff, right? Because... I mean, all the shit they got now, I, I don't know I don't know what the hydraulics are now. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what all this new shit they use, right? But back in the day, it was simple. It was a pump, orange casing, and a pin. And I used to keep four or five pins in my ass. So break all the time. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, because I remember when I bought my first tray, I hit Crenshaw, me and Richie, right? United Hydraulics, Joe, did my hydraulics. And so we was coming down 135th, right? And we was getting ready to make a left on Crenshaw. And I never forget, right? I was like, Richie was like, put it on three wheels, right? So I go to hit it on three wheels and I hit the wrong side, right? I hit this <laughs> side instead of this side, right? So we going down Crenshaw, you know what I'm saying? And I start Richie like, hit the switch, hit the switch, right? We pull off, right? We see some girls, you know what I mean? We youngsters, you know what I mean? Start hitting the switch and we get right there at 116th and Crenshaw and Richie is like, hey man, something is burning. <laughs> Right? And I'm like, what? The solenoid was stuck. The shit was on fire, right? So <clears throat> we jump out the car, open up the trunk, right? Shit is like, <clears throat> right? And I had bought, bought some seats from Charles Clayton, right? Charles Clayton sold me a front end and some Louis Vuitton back then. You know, he had the Louis Vuitton shit in his <laughs> tray, right? Some old school shit, you know what I mean? The Louis Vuitton material. The fucking back seat was on fire. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the fuck, right? So here it is, right? We start backing up on the grab to some lady's apartment building. Grab the water hose, right? Start putting that shit out, right? And so we like, all right, cool. Let's keep rolling. But what did I do? I didn't know nothing about hydraulics, so I kept the ground hooked up, <laughs> right? So we go a little further down, hit the switch again, the shit catches on fire again, <laughs> right? We ended up taking the seat out. This is no bullshit, taking the seat out on Crenshaw and Imperial throwing that shit on the ground, trying to stomp the fire out, right? So, you know, that was just all learning, exactly, you know? And exactly. guess what? We still hit the shop. We just didn't hit no switches, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so that was just some of the uh, experiences, you know, in the beginning. What, what what can you say your your most memorable moment low riding? When you joined the pros, but go ahead. I yeah, figure I'll answer that for one. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, I don't know, Fuzzy. It's, God damn, it's it's been so many memories. I mean, this you talking thirty years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, probably, probably the most memorable memorable moment was uh, I hopped against BK, right? Or no, not BK. Uh, Hunt down, right? He Pasadena. I, yeah, Pasadena, right? Hunt down had a. Uh, I think it's 61, I can't remember if it was white and red at that time, right? And my 61 was silver and blue, right? And I remember we met up at Santa Monica Pier, right? And it was crazy because back then everybody had the camcorder, you know what I'm saying? And everybody had kind of been wanting to see these two 61s, you know what I'm saying, hop against each other. 
So we went out there, you know, and it was funny because you look right and one side where his 61, everybody had on all red, right? This side, you see everybody had on all blue, right? <laughs> it was one of them deals, you know? And we hopped against each other and I was like, bring it on, right? And so we hopping and hopping and hopping, right? Boom, he broke his ball joint. But I was gonna get him anyway. <laughs> You didn't remember hunt down, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. I give you props, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I give you props because me and him used to go at it. You know, I respect all the brothers that was willing to hop because, you know, that was my most memorable moment, probably one of them. But one thing I did do is I respect any brother who pulls up. For right? sure. Because, you know, everybody ain't got all the hottest shit. They ain't got the best paint job. They, they ain't got willing the best chrome. The but they willing to hit the switch. And that's what low riding is about. You know what I'm saying? It's the love for low riding. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just one of them things where, you know, we realize that everybody ain't on the same level. Even that dude it's the strong. other day that came to get you, get you on our way to club meeting. Yeah, and then that you dude, ended up serving it. But he was coming to hit the switch on you. Yeah, he but was that's coming another to, story. But you know, my thing now is, I don't, you know, I don't hit the switch like that no more. You know, I let Tweet handle it. You know, I let him get all excited and shit, you know, and let him get the swinging on everybody and all this. Because I done put in my time. You know what I'm saying? I done put in my time, you know what I mean? So I now I just want to go and lay and play. So what, what made you become a professional? We really got to talk about that. Because <laughs> from my understanding, he Hold vowed on. that he wouldn't. Have a drink from, my understanding, <laughs> from my understanding, he vowed that he wasn't going to get in another car club after South Central. You're right. I wasn't. Because, I mean, let's face it. Most of the time, most of my years of low riding, I rode solo. You know, all them years that I was hopping against everybody, this and that, right? You know, I rode solo. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't into no club shit, right? I mean, I respected all the dudes in the club, but I would hop against them cats too, you know what I mean? But <clears throat> I met Tweet, right? And we started talking and talking and talking. And so one day he hit me up, he said, hey, what's up, man? What's up with joining the club, right? And I was like, man, I, I, you know, I'm not into the club stuff no more, you know what I mean? But as time went on, right, he was like, just come to one of the meetings. Right, so I came to one of the meetings, right, and I saw all the cats, right, which was older cats. You know, I'm older, you know, so it was like, I talked to everybody, right, and you know, everybody was like, hey man, what's up, folks? You know what I mean? Join the club, this and that, right? So I went home, started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I ride one more time, you know, because this is a group of guys, right, the professionals, right, that everybody is tight. You know what I mean? Everybody is older. Everybody knows each other's story. You know what I'm saying? We all know, you know, where we coming from. There's no game plan. There's no, you know, hidden agendas. None of that shit, right? It's all about family. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up joining, you know, and uh, let me see. I've been with the professionals now. How long? I have. I know, you know, I can't keep up with <laughs> yesterday. You've been, in, you've been with us for quite I think some maybe time like now. five years. Four or five, five years, something, five like years that. something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, because, uh, you know, that's when people was thinking that we weren't going to be having, when they start seeing all this artillery pop up, you, country, foot, GB, and so on, Wayne, and Stummy, and Wayne, yeah. and all them. So it was, because you joined before Wayne, them, right? You joined before I Wayne. I joined them, before right? Wayne and country, yeah. 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 I joined before them, and, uh, yeah, I think they came like maybe like a couple months later, right? So, so you uh, a, minute, a moment ago you was talking. I'm listening to you, you were speaking on uh, when y'all was at the picnics and all that. We do a segment, picnic shows or the street. Which one you prefer or like the most when you out there on the boulevard doing your thing? Streets back in the day. Tell me why. Uh, streets was more intense. Picnic is. Uh, Picnic to me is like a situation where everybody is kind of like uh, you could get ready. You know what I'm saying? Like you you know what's coming. You know what I mean? You already got everything laid out. I like to pull up on some shit like you, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? You, let's do it. You know what I mean? That was my thing. You know what I mean? I was like, I want to hop against you. 
and then you catch somebody off guard. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because, you know, back in the day, I mean, I done listened to the podcast, right? Everybody <laughs> talking about their king of Crenshaw and all this old shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all I got to say is just watch the videos from back in the day. That's all I got to say. But, you know, again, I respect everybody, right? You know, I got love for everybody who low rides, you know? But uh, the, the streets to me was more intense than the picnics, you know, because like I said, you could roll up on somebody and be like, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. You know what I mean? And yeah. then they'd have to get on their A game like right away. Where at the picnics, right, you already yeah. sitting with your homeboy preparing like, you know, such and such roll up today. You know, we're going to hop against him, this and that. But you don't know that shit on Sunday night. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, yeah it's like an it's like an ambush, right? So you know, I like I like spontaneous. You know what I mean? I like the fact of just being ready to go at that given moment. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like a basketball game or a football game. You sitting on the sideline, right? You don't know when the coach is gonna call you in. Mm -hmm. So you better be ready at all times. You know what I mean? But nowadays, you know. We let other players take over, you know what I'm saying? And we sit on the sideline. Is, 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 is that to say that you kept your shit charged up? And all the go? time, all the time, all the time, you know what I'm saying? You know, one of the things about having an old car, a classic is you got to stay on it, you know? Speaking of staying on it, what is it like? Because you build your own cars. What right. is it like, like, to do that? Like. Oh, dude, it's a it's it's a it's a beautiful thing, right? Because you build your own car, and then you turn around and you get in the driver's seat, and you roll, right? And then you get somewhere, and people's like, "Oh yeah, where'd you get your car built? I built my own car." And they look at you, you know, motherfucking liar. You know, and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care, but you know, it's 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 almost like the chase of finding the parts. You know, getting this and getting that, right? And it's again, like we talked about earlier, it's the passion, exactly. you know? One thing about building a nice car is you gotta have patience. You ain't got no patience, the car ain't gonna come out right. That's just the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? I've always had patience, you know what I'm so saying? So what is it like building for, cause you build for other people as well. Right. Like what is it that like to build for other people besides yourself? Is it more, is it, is it more things. difficult to, to deal with? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes when you got customers, right? Um, you know, most of the customers that I built for have been pretty patient, right? Everybody knows, you know, I work, right? I work for the Department of Water and Power, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is uh, when you build for other people, you know, there's no better feeling than, you know, you watch them go through it and they're like, man, what's taking so long? Or how much I got to, why I got to spend that much for this? You know, you go through all this shit, right? And they don't really understand spending hours on lining up moldings or fighting this nut and bolt, you know, to get it out. Because every car is different. Because every car is different. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people just see the finishing product. They don't see the hours that you put into this, the struggles, the busted knuckles, you know what I mean? The losing sleep because, let's face it, sometimes when you're working on the car and you can't get something right, you ain't going to sleep that oh, night. Oh, you're going to sleep with the... You, you yeah, you're going your to mind. sleep with the shit on your mind. Yeah. And you're yeah, yeah, yeah. you going to wake up with it until you come with that solution, right? And when you get that solution, there's no better feeling, yeah. right? And the thing is, once you build a car for somebody... The best thing in the world is watch somebody drive off Get in that car. The world of because you see grown men turn into a little kid. You know, they like, oh, hell yeah, this and that, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then they end up tearing some shit up and bringing it back, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's it's, it's not so much the money, right? I mean, it, you know, you <laughs> know what I'm saying. Right. Be yeah. Yeah, but it's the passion, right? It's your love, and you want to see another cat enjoy his ride. Because you've built some cars. You've built some cars for some cats who have never had a car before, right? So when they get the car for the first time, they're like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? This is the shit, you know? And that's the best part of it. You know what I mean? So you see, the way I've always looked at it, when even before... I met Fuzzy when I was doing this shit back in the 80s. And I did that to people, built people cars. 
or even went through people cars. Right. Uh, safety is a is, is paramount to me, you know, and I never wanted them to be discouraged. Right. Because I know for a fact that if I wasn't wrenching on my own cars, uh, knew all the dynamics of this shit. Right. I probably was at the hell with this car too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, uh, my thing is to make it so enjoying for them, like you say. My gratification is not the money. It's when I see them behind the wheel, especially if we ride together. That, yeah. And I look over at them, they like, and you know, man. And they got the music that, bumping. That shit is priceless. It. Yeah, it's priceless. You know what I mean? You can't and put then, no dollar amount on it. And that. then, you know, to the safety, right? The safety aspect, too, you know, because you build a car for somebody, they trust in you. They trust in you like, hey, you did the brakes right. You did this right. You did this right. Because... You know, they jump in the car, they turn the key, and they just want to roll. Exactly. But in your head, you're thinking like, okay, let me go over this shit one more time. Let me make sure the brakes is right, the motor's right, the transmission white is right, the rear end is right, right? Because all these things flow through your head before somebody hits the street. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you know? Their life is in your hands. Their life is in your hands, and they trust you. You know what I'm saying? I, we get in them. I get on them, for sure, and do whatever I can to make them break. Right. Because I'm prepared and ready to react right. to whatever go on. Yep. I intentionally get in every car and try to make them break. Yeah. Brake lines, flares of the brake lines. I done had flares go out on me. Right. You know, on, at, the, at the junction box. So it's you know that's the last thing I ever want. If someone to get behind the wheel of their car right. and something just chaotic happens. Right. Right. You know you don't want that as a builder. As a friend, as a homie, yeah. none of that, you know. Yeah, definitely. You so know? what? So what's next for you? You got something? Uh, you building something new, or you done? <laughs> yep. I think he done. No, I ain't done. You ain't done. No, I ain't done. I, I got one I more. I stuck a fork in your ass. No, because <laughs> your fork was dull. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, your fork bounced back you, on your ass. You know what I mean? I'm in your club, and you you build what you building. <laughs> 58. Or another race car. No, that day, them days over. But I got a hard top 58 coming out, right? Oh, King so, of Impalas, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I know you would rather have a 59, but the 58 probably just came your way or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'd have rather had a 59, you thank, know what thank I mean? You, but I, I let other brothers take I know all the boys here were going to come. <laughs> a little, little fake-ass 1990 camaraderie <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? He know he, he, know yeah. he wanted a 58, yeah. go ahead. But yeah, I got a 58 coming out, you know, so. Uh, Stop. No. Huh? No. Nah, nah. Airbag. No. Nah. That's more your style. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm it'll getting be cut. older. Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of speaking of that shit, you ever seen any of his cars back in the days? Did, did you see any of his cars? No. You never seen none of his cars. He's at a all? baby no. like you. Oh, okay. That's no. like I've seen. I, 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 no, He's I've a seen. Baby some, like I've you. seen some pictures and stuff, and I heard about it. You know what I mean? But it really wasn't no major <laughs> stories. You know, it was like. Yeah, he had a, you know, purple 58, shit like that. It was okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> you Nothing know. extravagant. Yeah, yeah, you know, because, you know, he he put a little extras on it. You know yeah, like kind of like when he hit the switch, right? Like everybody say, right? It's the bobblehead, you know? <laughs> it's it like, is. come on, homie, you know what you I mean? Know, we, we, Don't get a headache doing this shit, you is, know what I'm saying? <laughs> what it is for, for y'all that's out there, ain't my fault if you're not as cool as me. You know what I'm saying? This and, is that bullshit. And, this and, is the bullshit we talking about, about right the, now. You know what I'm saying? For those who got an issue with my shit bobbing, and the, <laughs> you ain't got the soundtrack I got. More than likely, your shit ain't as hot as mine because it will be throwing you around. You know, so, you know, I, I don't be mad at them when they right. talk about the bobbing because I be feeling my shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, uh, what color? You got a color you painted? What color? Yo, you going to keep it on the under? Uh... No, nah, I ain't got to keep it low key. You know what I mean? I'm either thinking going with a fawn or the uh, aspen green. Oh, well, is that know? right? Yeah. So you know, I'm yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't mind yeah. saying it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stock. You know, as far as the look, it'll be cut. You know, I'm not trying to do the chrome undercarriage and the race motor and all that shit anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, yeah, I just, I just want to clean a stock clean. I mean a uh, stock yeah, clean yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Stock clean. That's cut. You know what I'm saying? Six batteries, something simple. You know, I got the frame over there right now. You know, homies, right? I talked to Anthony, which is another one of my, you know, 
Anthony uh, from homies. Anthony's from, you know, homies, yeah. Southside, right? Southside was a lot of cats that, you know, back in the day, uh, Mondo, Oscar, you know, Anthony, right? Those yeah. cats, you know, I was just like, God damn. I mean, you know, they were building some shit, you know, to Toto and all them cats, right? They built some shit back in the day. For sure. They're you know, I, I never forget. I saw <clears throat> Mondo's back in the day. He had a green rag 59. Right. And I was like, I think it was rag. I, I can't, yeah. yeah. Right, right. And I remember the first time I saw it. That was the first time I saw like a 59 cut. Right. I was like, God damn. You know, I was looking at the Batman wings. I said, that shit look funny. <laughs> but, you know, it was just like it was because I had now you used to seeing the trays and the foes. Yeah. Right. The most common low rider that everybody knows is a 64 Impala. Right, all the rap Cruising songs. Cruising down the street in my yeah. six, folks. All the rap songs, right? All that's what they Thank speak me, on. Thank me, but go ahead. You know? <laughs> Thank right. me. You know what I'm my, saying? My boy Easy, yeah. my folk back yeah. in the day. You know Thank I mean? me for that shit. But, uh, that's why you're in a pretty clean motherfucker yourself. But anyway, you Yeah, know, let's move on we're to gonna say that to You know what I'm saying? We're going to get back to this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But we're going we're gonna to do, we're going to wind this thing down because, you know, uh, we're gonna have to bring him back again with my main man Richie, cause you know I heard many stories about you and Richie oh, yeah. doing y'all thing. Me and I like to hear his, yeah. his side too, you know. Speaking of speaking of just before we before we end this shit, uh, one person you or a couple people you like to see low riding, dead or alive, like that you could you could see low riding again. Uh, <clears throat> definitely Vic, right? Number one. Number one, right, Vic. Tangerine know, Dream yeah. coming back. Yeah, that Vic definitely number one, right? When I finish my fifty-eight, that's the first person who's gonna ride with. Me. You know what I'm saying? I hope so. You know, uh, I miss seeing Dell Dog. You know, Dell Dog was uh, he was animated, right? Dell Dog, peace. rest in peace, right? He. <laughs> You think I got the head, Bob? <laughs> you think I got the you head, know, Bob? Bell Dog used to jump out the lowriders with the mink coats. You know what I mean? And I mean, talk some shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then you. You know, because I seen you, right, as a youngster, since you've been 10, 11 years old, right? And now you, uh, you know, you older. Yeah, you Go older ahead. now, right? And, watch, and I watched you grow up. I mean, you and your brother did my 61 AC back in... Ah, shit, I don't know. What was that, 2004 or something? Something like that. Or whatever. I don't remember how long ago it was, right? But I'm anxious to see you low ride, you know what I'm saying? Because you're good at what you do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. Well, go ahead. You know, I mean, unfortunately, you got to deal with this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But hey. it's all good. But one thing he will do is keep you a little on your game, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, I, and I give it to Tweet too, right? I mean, that's my boy, you know, we, we like brothers, right? And he's taught me a few things too, right? Just on the extra touches, you know, just some of the little things, right? The shit you that know. counts. Yeah, I don't want to give him too much credit because the then his count. fucking head is going to blow up. You yeah, know, and it's already, the hat already, won't fit him. The shit the barely shit fits now, you know what I mean? The shit but the uh, there's a couple cats, you know, uh, that, you know, I wish, you know, they Zeus, I wish he was still around, you know, because these are all Gary May. I mean, these are all old school cats that when I was a youngster, they were, they had already had. They was repping. They was already repping. They was repping. Well, they was repping. You know, and, and they were repping hard, you know, and I used to watch them. Like I said, uh, you know, Charles Clayton, you know, Charles Clayton was a big one, you know. Um, but then, you know, I, I, uh, I enjoy all the other brothers, you know, Big Dre, you know what I mean? Some individuals, you know, Punchy, definitely, you know, Punchy, you know, <laughs> you know, me, Punchy, we all kind of came up together. That's right. You know what I mean? We did, you know, and I, I'm, I'm glad that most of us, by the grace of God, right, are still riding, you know what I mean? Because everybody wanted to see me go to that bike scene. That bike scene, mm -mm, ain't <laughs> happening, never. Low riding is where it's always at. Yeah. All right, so you want to shout anybody out um, before we leave, before we end it? Uh, you know, shout out, right, you know, to my girls first, right, Aaron and Ariane, you know, those are my girls, you know. Uh, my boy, T, T-Lo, Black, you know. Boone, you know, Boone has taught me a lot, 
Shade tree. Yeah, Boone. Hey, <laughs> stop talking about Boone. I told you about that shit, right? But Boone, you know, we got Boone. the boxing ring in the back <laughs> after the show, y'all. <laughs> You know, Boone has taught me a lot of shit, you know. Uh, shout out to Richie, you know, uh, because, Rich. you know, Big Rich is my boy. You know, we've been like this, you know, tight, you know. And then shout out to all all the brothers who's out there low riding. You know what I'm saying? That's no right. matter what level your low rider is at, you still riding. Part that's of this culture. Line, Part of this know? culture. And that's the culture. And we all got love for it. You know what I'm saying? So. And shout out to my boys, you know, on Electric Trouble and Emergency Response Unit at Department of Water <laughs> Power. You That's know what right. I'm saying? That's we right. climb poles and we work on high voltage power lines together, baby. Our lives are in each other's hands. You keep so their lights love, up. Much love to all them cats, right? Omar, Hussey, Rocha, you know, Steve Lau, all them cats, man. I love all them cats, man, because them cats have helped me. They have helped me, you know what I mean? to be here, you that's know, right. uh, my boy Tavares, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's right. it. Well, well, one love. Much love. Appreciate you coming yeah. through, hanging out with us. It's uh, all good, you uh, know. Follow us, the King of Chevy presents, the King of Chevy. Uh, you like us, subscribe, hit the like, subscribe. And what else is, did I miss anything this time, brother? Did I get it? Yeah, go buy some fucking merch. Go buy some merch, you know, hey. You gotta be fly. You gotta want to rock this shit. Now I make it look so good in these. Okay, I'm not no way. That's it. One love. <laughs> All right. On top of the world, sitting on the throne, king of Chevys in my lap is a two door brome. Hey. Hey. On top of the world, sitting on the throne, king of Chevys in my lap is a two door brome. Hey. school bitch and this old school rider this a first time dipping with a G beside her and now we in Malibu view ain't nothing but the ocean blew the bitch mind with this three wheel